Alrighty, welcome to another edition of Achievement College, my step-by-step -step guide to getting you that gamer score. I'm Aussie Gamer 17 and today we are playing Piku Niku, or however you're meant to say it, I literally have no idea. But what I'm about to do, guys, is I'm going to show you how to get all of the achievements. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, guys, and once you're at the main menu, we're going to go straight into adventure mode. This is the single player mode and select a new game. Now, I'm going to skip as much of the uh, dialogue and cutscenes and stuff like that. Obviously, if you're playing along, you can uh, check it out for yourself. Okay, and when we uh, finally get into the game, we are going to find ourselves ourselves with our first objective, which is to wake up. And once we get through that dialogue, we can then move around. And that's us, a blob with two legs at the moment. All right, jump out here, head over to the ghost, get through this dialogue as well. Now you can go, we're going to go to the right. You can go up or down. You can take the top path or the bottom path. We're going to take the top path. It's a bit quicker. Once I get through all this. All right, there we go. Head up here. Down here. Across these platforms. And up here. And just kick this rock to get past here. And then bounce up left to right, left to right. And once you see this mushroom, walk into it to bounce up here. Across this platform here as well. Over to this mushroom, same thing again. Now we're gonna go up through here. You can go the other way once again, kick that rock out of the way. Bounce up past the ghost, you can talk to him if you want to. Get up here, be quick across here. The uh, Obviously the grey rocks, we're gonna take the top path here as well. And that'll be the end of the first level once we finish talking to the ghost here. Out we go. And from here guys, we're gonna head out. Just kick the door open. You can uh, bounce or jump over these rocks. Don't get stuck like I did. Start heading down the hill. When you see these jagged lines, that's a secret entrance into a cave. Hop down into the cave, bounce off the mushroom, up to this uh, flashing light, or flashing, whatever you want to call it, and hit X. And this is going to be our first hidden bug. There are going to be uh, five bugs or insects, whatever they want to call them, guys. Uh, hidden throughout the game that we're going to find and so that's one of five complete. All right head back out of the cave over these rocks Just Roll down the hill Oops You can just skip that mushroom. We do not need to go up the top. Just continue along the bottom When you get to this bridge guys, we're going to just head across Always breaks, there's nothing you can do about that. It's actually story related. Little scene, a little bit of dialogue here that we'll just skip through. And once they leave, follow the same way that they went, continue to our right. Another little scene here. Get through this dialogue. Same again here, guys. Just gonna get through this little cutscene. When they, they figure out that we're not actually a big scary monster, they're gonna let us go, but we have to fix the bridge. And once back in control, guys, we're going to head all the way to the left. We have to fix the bridge. Do not fall in the well. Make sure you jump over the well. Head to the left. Holding B, you can roll like this. I find it a little bit quicker sometimes. All right. Jump over uh, to the other side of the bridge. Then jump up into the tree. 
the spider will come out, head down to this side of it, press X to kick the spider across, and he fixes the bridge. Don't do that again, sorry spider. Anyway, back we go. And wait until a little scene of di or a little bit of dialogue plays out with the villagers again. All right, come on, mate. And now we have to go and see the painter. Okay, we're gonna head to our right. We're gonna find the windmill, guys. So here at the well, jump on the bucket, but straight away, jump onto the roof of the windmill. Head over the roof to this other side and across to this uh, platform here, and then head up. Go past this shop and bounce off this uh, umbrella thingy here up to the painter's building up here and head inside. And then get through the chat here with the painter. Oops, I accidentally did it again. All right, once you finish chatting with him, head to the right, guys, down into the painter's like basement area. We need to get that pencil hat that's on the top left. Push the left hand box to pretty much exactly where the right box was. Heading over here and hitting this switch so that the uh, box comes and lands on top of the box that we moved. And then we can jump up here and get the pencil hat. All right, game, come on. Now what you wanna do is wear the pencil hat, hold left trigger and select the hat by just placing the cursor on it. Basically now head back up to the painter. Very important here guys, we are going to be working on our next achievement. Have a chat to the painter. He's gonna want us to paint, I don't know, a portrait, whatever you wanna call it. But to get the achievement, we need to make sure we keep the canvas completely clear. All right. So once he's given us that objective, head here, push X and then just push Y to confirm. And there is a rare achievement, Supermatism, I think it is. Uh, now he's gonna want us to actually draw something. So this time we're gonna uh, actually do it. I've actually never actually drawn this, uh, anything other than a dot, but let's see. Let's do, who can guess what I'm doing already? Boom, confirm. Perfect, I know, you love it, don't you? What have I done? It's a masterpiece, I know, I know. Anyway, skip, skip, skip. All right, excellent. Okay, and with that done, guys, we need to head off to the Scarecrow. And that is all the way back to the left, about as far as we can make it, guys. Well, not as far as we can make it, but anyway, back this way, don't fall in the well. I'm speaking from experience there, guys. Back across the bridge. At this mushroom, use it to bounce up here. And fix the scarecrow's face. Oh, it's a masterpiece, isn't it? And off go the birds, and we'll get a little cutscene. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, don't mess with my masterpiece. Hey! All right, get through this dialogue. Off we go. Okay, once back in control, guys, we need to head to the right until we get a little cutscene. Nope, not there. Don't bounce on the mushroom. Oop, not on that one either. Bounce over it if you can. Do as I say, not as I do there. <laughs> All right, head back this way until we get a cutscene or a bit of dialogue, whatever you want to call it. Here we go. Get through all this. Now, this guy is going to drop a bunch of coins into the world. There is an achievement that we need to uh, consider, which is co for collecting 70 coins. So we'll be doing that along the way, guys. There, there goes the coins. All right, 
As soon as we're back in control, we're gonna to head to the left and collect some of those coins. Back over near the scarecrow. Starting with these ones here. Grab all those. And bounce up here and grab those. Bounce up to our left here. Don't get squashed. Actually want to grab those coins there. Wait for him to leave. There we go. Grab these four as well. So now we have 12 coins and we're going to head back to our right. Yeah, it might be hard to grab those coins. What we're going to do is jump up on top of the windmill. Jump into this cloud. It's going to float down. We're going to grab these three coins and we're going to head back this way. Should now have, oops, don't fall in the well. Should now have 15 coins. Just going to get over here and head inside this building here now, just to the right of the windmill, guys. And what we're doing here, guys, is we're going to pick up two achievements. This guy is going to challenge us to, I guess, a game of basketball. We have to lose three times in a row. The winner is the first one to get three baskets. We have to lose three times in a row for an achievement, and then we need to win three times in a row for achievement. We're going to lose first um, three times in a row. Now, you can even practice by trying to score the goal for him. So... Whenever it goes in that basket, he gets the point like that. He's a bit rough. Come on, mate, get it in. We need him to score. Hey, hey. There we go. Oh, it didn't go in. Dude, dude. I don't want to get it in. Yeah, good, good. So what I'll do, guys, is I'm going to skip the video here and I'll... Sh uh, cut the video back in once I have got to the three losses in a row. Okay, guys, and here we are about to get our third loss here. I don't think he scored a goal himself. And I forgot to mention, um, as soon as you lose, you can just head straight back in uh, once you get back to the dialogue with him here. There's our achievement for three losses. That beautiful rare achievement sound. All right, now it's time to win three times, which of course I haven't practiced. I do practice a lot of things with these guides, guys, but stuff like this, I'm just like, let's just get it in the recording, eh? That's not good. Go back the other way. <laughs> out of my way, dude, out of my way. There we go, come on. Oh, he's gonna stop it. Oh, let me get him, let me get him. There we go. Ah, wrong way. All right, guys, once again, I'll just cut this back to where we uh, get the uh, third win here. Oh, shit, if I can win it. All right, here we go, guys. About to get my third win here. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. And hopefully the game gives me my achievement when we get back to this next screen. That's right, I am good at this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Get through this dialogue. Don't start another game with him, though. Head outside. Make sure you jump up on top and get our first trophy, guys. We found a basket champion. Whoop, whoop. Or should I say, yum, yum, yum. All right, once we've got the first trophy there, there are going to be, uh, technically, I guess, 18 trophies. They are numbered 0 to 17, conveniently. Jump over this guy. And once you find this sign, jump up onto the building to the right and up to this platform. Oops. What we want to do is not go in that cloud there, but get up here and up into the tree. Pick up the apple and we're going to go grab the next trophy as well here. What you want to do is head onto this umbrella. Just gonna grab this coin while I'm here as well. So grab those two coins, head up here. Head up to this umbrella. 
And there is trophy number two. I think that one's actually classified as trophy zero, but there we go. From here, we wanna jump across to the moving cloud. And we need to make our way across to the left. We're looking for our first uh, little side quest, I guess I'd call it. All right, jump onto the nest here. Once down here, what you wanna do guys is kick both of the eggs until they break. Both the little birds are gonna fly off. We're gonna get a little cut scene with the big bird. Get through this dialogue, then we need to go find the lost birds. All right, once we've got control again, we're gonna jump up to this cloud. Head back to our right. Jump onto this cloud. Now, once it gets all the way to the right, instead of jumping to the next cloud, we're just gonna drop straight down here. And we're gonna find the little bird here. Press Y, not X, as I was doing. Get through the dialogue and the bird will fly away. Now, I just wanna go and see, whoops, actually went too far. Probably could have done this on the way to the bird. I wanna grab these three coins here. Got to grab them on the way up, so make sure you grab those. Back to where we found the first bird, we're gonna go down towards the windmill and the or the house where we first um, where we just got the first trophy. And there's the bird there. Head up here and chat to him. There we go. Okay, and from here, guys, we want to go back and see the uh, mama bird. Gonna head up this way, up onto here, up here, and back up this way, up to where we've got the first apple just here, up the umbrella, and up this umbrella too. Ride the two clouds. And this is gonna be the end of our first side quest. Press Y to start the dialogue, get through all the dialogue. Get our second apple as well. All right, we're gonna head all the way down the bottom. You won't take fall damage. Head up this hill here, get past this guy and fall down here, but stick to the left so we can get this coin. When you run and jump off here, Press the B button after you jump, just to give you a little bit extra distance. And grab that coin there. Then head down the bottom and through here. We can kick this rock until it breaks and then head inside. Just jump down here, break the table, chat to the rock. This is gonna be side quest number two. We have to go and find the hidden rock. He's gonna play hide and seek with us. Jump back up here. Head back out, head to the left, stand on this little platform and kick the switch. Kick the switch, ride the water up, head to the left and the rock's first hiding spot is on the sign just here. Wake him up with a little kick. All right, he's gonna hide again. All right, now continue to the left towards the windmill. There you go, you can see the rock, jump in the bucket, up to the roof. Oops, kick the rock, other way. There we go, that's the second hiding spot. We're gonna find him one more time. We're gonna do that by hopefully not falling like that, but we can go this way anyway. We're going back up to the clouds, guys. You can go up the other way if you want to. Up the umbrellas, so as long as you go up the umbrellas, you'll be fine. Out of the way, buddy. All right, up the first umbrella. Up onto the roof here. Up the second umbrella. And now just head sort of off to the right here. And here is the rock. And he'll give us our third apple. And we're gonna get a trophy for completing that, guys. Uh, to get that, we're just gonna head all the way back down. And we're gonna go back to the rock's house. Back 
down here and in here and grab the trophy. Excellent. Okay, now we need to get back out again, ride the water up. What we want to do is head left towards the windmill and once again find the well. And this time we can actually go in the well. So jump inside the bucket and ride it all the way down. We needed the three apples before we do this, guys. Head to our left. And we have the three apples to get inside the shrine here. One, two, and three. All right, in we go. Don't worry about him. Jump here. Press X while in the air to swing to this. And again to this one. Now, be careful here. Grab the coin, but don't hit the red button. And head back down here, guys. Now, we're gonna go and grab this coin here and jump back out the one on the left here, guys. If that happens, guys, don't worry too much about it. Still counts getting the coin. What I wanna do is not hit these spikes there. So head across here and then drop down here and back to where we were. So we got that coin on the left. Now we're gonna go this way. this here. Now swing, grab that coin. Oops, hang on guys. We need to grab that coin and go through the wall. Let's just try to grab the coin first. There we go. Go through the wall and head to here. And now just drop down here guys. Head past this rock. Grab the three coins, fall down here. Take this left path. And from here, what we wanna do is head across here. Okay guys, now what we need to do is get the red ball through to our left and onto that switch underneath the frog there. If you hit this, it's gonna move the platforms, but we already had them where we want them. Once you've got it in this uh, setup, what you wanna do is jump over the other side of the ball without knocking it off the other side. Push it down onto the second platform, just like that. Now hit the switch again, or for the first time if you already had it right. Head onto the other side of the ball once again, and kick it across. No! All right, hang on. If that happens, you just gotta flick the switch. Get the ball back into position. All right, head to this side of the ball. Sort of crouch there and kick it, and then just push it onto the switch here. As long as that's got a uh, little green circle and lit up, head back to our right, over here. What we're trying to do is get those coins, by the way. All right, heading this way. Now what we want is this ball onto the switch just on the left. There we go, that'll be fine. And now head left. need to just move these platforms so we can get up and get the coins. There we go, you should have 51 coins if you're following along guys. All right, make sure you grab all the coins and head back this way now. Pass this ball, pass the frog here, we're gonna break this rock. Now make sure you are ducking here as you walk. <laughs> Hit the bumpers, hit another bumper here, and fall down into this water. And we need to push this box to the right until it's in the middle of these two sets of spikes. Probably went too far. Now that'll, that'll work. Oh, get in there. 
probably didn't go far enough. And into here. And we need to jump up onto here and to the left. Make sure you fall down to the left so that you can get these coins here. And now we need to drop onto this uh, bumper thing here as well. And we want to, what we're trying to do is go through this hole here, down here onto another bumper, and all the way to the end, and we will get a beast mask, which is what we've come this way for. Beast mask. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. And leave the shrine now, guys. And it's time to leave this area. We're going to go to the next area now. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to head over here. Sit and wait here and the bucket will come down. Once it's down, in we get and it'll rise all the way back up the top. Out we go. And head all the way to the right. Out of my way, buddy. All the way. And jump in here. Ride that across. And leave the area. Alright guys, I'm going to call it a video there. I want to thank you all very, very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, post a comment. I love hearing from you guys. I do read all of my comments. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you like guides like this and you want to help me make more, please consider joining my Patreon where you can become a member of the Aussie Army for just $1. There's a link in the video description, guys. Once again, I want to say a big, big thank you. Whoa, there's the bell, guys. You know what that means. Class dismissed.